Leben cert higher level maths 2020 higher level paper one this is the solution video to question five so question five is our financial maths question and it reads a couple agreed to take out a mortgage of 250,000 in order to purchase a new home the loan is to be paid back monthly over 25 years with the repayments due at the end of each month the bank charges an annual percentage rate, APR, which is equivalent to a monthly rate of 0.287%. Using the amortization formula or otherwise, find a couple's monthly repayment on the mortgage. Give your answer in euro, correct to the nearest cent. Okay, so it says um, using the amortization or formula or otherwise. So we'll go ahead and use the amortization formula, which is A is equal to P times i times 1 plus i to the power of t over 1 plus i to the power of t minus 1. You'll get that in your log tables. So all we need to do for this, we're trying to find a, which is the amount repayable per month, and we need to fill in everything here. So p, that's our principal, that's how much is borrowed, so that's 250,000. I then is the interest rate. Now the interest rate is already given to us uh, as a monthly rate, so we don't need to change from annual to monthly, but we do need to give it as a percentage. So uh, 0 0.287% um, as a decimal, rather is 0 0.00287. And then T, which is our number of time periods, it's 25 years times 12 months is 300 months. So T is 300. So then filling in the formula, we have A is equal to P, which is 250,000 times 0 0.00287 times 1.00287. That's one plus I. That's to the power of 300. And then that's over 1.00287 to the power of 300 minus our one. So you can pop that into your calculator. I'll do it for you here just because it can be an awkward thing to put into the calculator. So I'd start by going 250,000. I'd open up a bracket then, and we have a fraction. So let us see what we have here. We have 0 0.00287 times 1.00287. That one is to the power of 300. Then down to the bottom of the fraction, we have 1.00287. That's to the power of 300 and it's minus one and then close the bracket there and hopefully we typed it all in right and we did. We get 1,244 and 066 cents. So the amount repayable is 1,244 euros and six cent. On to part B then. Part B says another couple agree to take out a mortgage of 350,000 at a rate of 0.3% per month in order to purchase a new home. This loan is also to be paid back monthly over, over 25 years with the repayments due at the end of each month. The amount of each repayment is 1,771 euro. After exactly 11 years of repayments, the couple receive a financial windfall. They decide to repay the remaining balance of the mortgage. Write down a series, including the first two and last two terms, which shows the total of the present values of all the remaining monthly repayments due over the remaining 14 years of the mortgage, after the last monthly repayment at the end of year 11. Hence, find how much the couple will need to repay in order to clear their mortgage entirely and give your answer correct nearest cent. 
Okay, so our series is the present values of each of the remaining repayments. Now, there's four, 14 years of repayments. Uh, that's 12 repayments a year. So 14 by 12 is 168 repayments. We have to find the present value of each of these. The repayment amount is 1771. And to find the present value of this, you divide by the interest rate um, to the power of the number of, of say, uh, compounding periods so the interest rate is 0.3 percent per month so we have to write this as um, one plus the interest rate as a decimal so that'll be 1.003 and that's going to be to the power of one for the first repayment the first repayment is made in a month's time this is the interest rate and it's for one month the second repayment then will be 1771 divided by 1.003 to the power of 2 because it's 2 months. And then this will continue on for 168 repayments. So for the last two, because it wants the first two and the last two, 1771 divided by 1.003 to the power of 167 and then plus 1771 divided by 1.003 to the power of 168. So that is our series. Now to find the repayment amount, we're gonna basically find the sum of this series, so the, the S of 168. Now before I do that, I'm gonna factor out this 1771 and just write down my simplified series, which will just be one over 1.003 to the power of one, plus one over 1.003 to the power of two, plus all the way up, plus one over 1.003 to the power of 167, plus one over 1.003 to the power of 168. So now my repayment amount is equal to 1771 times the S of 168. So the sum of my series, uh, which has 168 terms. So you can go to your log tables and find your S of N formula. And it'll be 1771 times, it's one over 1.00 three times one minus one over 1.003 that is to the power of 168 and that's over one minus one over 1.003 and we can close that bracket there and then we can close that bracket there uh, that 168 is inside this bracket here so then we'll want to go to our calculator. And again, this is something that is awkward to type into the calculator. Um, a lot of students would make errors at this stage. So be very careful as you're typing it in. So we have 1771 times, uh, we have a fraction then of one over 1.003. Then that is times, we have another fraction, one minus and then inside that we have another fraction one uh, over uh, 1.003 I think I have an extra minus in there that I don't need so I'm just going to delete that minus and um, then this fraction here is to the power of 168 and then I'm down to the bottom line of my fraction, which is one minus, and we have a fraction one over 1.003. And then close bracket, close bracket. And that is equal to the amount repayable in total is 233,438 euro. And it wants it to the nearest cent, so that'd be a 25 cent. So that means that the remaining amount uh, for the 14 years that's left is 233,000.
438 euros and 25 cent. That's how much they have to repay in order to repay the full lump sum. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.